Live Q&A time here on the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. This is why you subscribe, because if you want to be a part of our mailbags, uh, got to be subbed and join us on Mondays at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central time. Mahomes 86, now that Whataburger has opened here in Kansas City, I've got to say it's the most overrated cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. Fake news, Whataburger is great. If you haven't tried it yet, don't listen to this guy. Uh, You know, I'm not attacking your character or anything, but uh, I firmly disagree. I think it's a fantastic burger joint. RT Shorts, next year, who will be the best rookie from this class for the Chiefs? Next year, as in... 22 or 23? If you mean next year, 23, like going into next year, I'd probably still going to say the the answer's probably going to be the same. I think it's going to be Trent McDuffie regardless. Now, I think George Karloftis could make a bigger jump from year one to year two. Uh, Might take him some time to get going this year as a rookie, but I think think McDuffie has the best chance to be a really good player. Rick to one one two eight. Uh, will this be the season Mahomes gets a top ten defense? Brady's been carried by a top ten defense for twenty two years. Um, it'd be nice, right? Uh, I, I look. I think in nineteen and twenty, this Chiefs defense was underrated. Now I'm not gonna say it was lockdown or anything, but Chiefs defense is why they beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. The offense kind of stunk for three quarters. Now Mahomes went crazy in the fourth, and good for him. Uh, and I love Mahomes. Like he, I'd take him over any other quarterback. But it's not like this defense has never played well under Steve Spagnuolo. Last year wasn't very good outside of about eight weeks. Uh, beginning of the season was trash. Playoffs was trash. But, uh, again, I think that uh, at times this defense has performed at a high level. And, look, when you have a top five offense every year, it's also hard to have a top five or top ten defense. Top 15, perfectly fine. Tony says, will you go live for the Thursday schedule? No live, but we will have a video breaking down the schedule, so be sure to join us for that on Thursday. Turn on those notifications because we w- you will get notified on your phone or tablet as soon as we publish that video and the rest of our videos as well. Frankie Velez, if the Chiefs don't win the division, who will take it? That's an interesting question. Um, I think the Chargers – are the biggest threats to the Chiefs. That's what I believe. I think the Chargers are the biggest threats. Now, Broncos, obviously, you add Russell Wilson. That defense has been good. Uh, but the Chargers, they have that duo receiver with uh, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. Justin Herbert's the truth. Uh, he's got so much talent. He's got a rocket arm. Uh, and I like what they've done on defense, uh, and they can run the football. So I think the Chargers, but Denver and the Raiders aren't going to be slouches either. I think I would go KC1, Chargers 2, Broncos 3, Raiders 4. But we'll ask you guys, who's going to win the AFC West? Type KC for the Chiefs, type LAC for the Chargers, type LV for the Raiders, or you can type DEN for the Denver Broncos. Quinn Enzer says, this is going to be Mahomes' best statistical season. 56 touchdowns. If he has 56 touchdowns, he'll win the MVP. Bookmark this. You heard it here first. Uh, I don't know if it'll be his best statistical season, but I do think he's going to be good. And I think he feels like he's got a lot to prove uh, without Tyreek Hill. So, excited to see it unfold. Rick 1128, any chance we sign Antonio Brown? I hope not. I freaking hope not. I don't want AB. Uh, I don't think any team should sign him. I think that would be a an error in judgment. Quentin, why would we sign Clowney when we have a tender Mel- Melvin Ingram? Well, because Ingram has to agree to that. Um, he could sign elsewhere. And by the way, you don't want – I'd take both. Clowney and Ingram? Let's ride. We'll see if it happens, but uh, I uh, and I don't really expect it to. But I don't think Melvin Ingram's four point four million dollar tender that's floating out there should prohibit the Chiefs from signing Clowney. He would help tremendously. Hot take: Mahomes will have his. Oh, uh, we, we heard this one earlier. Fifty six touchdowns, Quinn. Yeah, I hope so. It'd be a lot of fun. Tony says, "Do you do we have a chance to go to the Super Bowl? Sure, of course." A chance. I think it's gotten harder because the division's tougher and the AFC as a whole uh, is really, really tough. But a chance? Absolutely a chance. Now, guys, if you want to pre-order your rookie jerseys for the Kansas City Chiefs first-round picks, Trent McDuffie and George Karloftis, there's one place to go, chatsports.com slash Chiefs 
jerseys. That link is in the comments. It's in the description. If you want to rep any of these rookies, you can do so by pre-ordering your jersey today. You'll get it in plenty of time before the season. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs jerseys. Dustin Toman, Spags. Uh, can Spags get a full solid year out of this revamped defense? I hope so. I, you know, that was the problem last year, right? They were either really bad or really good. No in between. No consistency. So that's what we're hoping for. That's what, you know, we want to see. We'll see. Now, I don't expect them to bring it every single week at a high level. You're going to have better weeks than others. You can't get trucked, though, for weeks on end uh, without some adjustments. So I'm looking for him to be more adaptable this year. PS4, the new frontier, is there a chance that Clark could get beat out for the starting job if Ingram comes back? It's possible. Um, I think Frank Clark will be a starter if he's healthy. I think if Ingram comes back, Carl Loftus becomes your number three edge. That's just my belief, at least to start the year. That could change, you know, by midseason if Carl Loftus is proving that he is, you know, worthy of starting. But um, I don't think Clark, you know, with them keeping Clark, I, I think he's probably going to start. Time for a couple more here. Should the Chiefs trade for Deron Payne? Eh, if I'm trading for someone, it's probably not a nose tackle type, so I would probably uh, not go that route uh, at the end of the day. Why you should subscribe to the Chiefs Report? A couple of reasons here. Number one, free content. Daily videos, free, uh, no charge by hitting that subscribe button. Interactive shows, live shows on Mondays, uh, mailbags where you guys get to interact and get your voices heard. Uh, that's another reason. Off-season coverage has been lit, free agency, draft, we'll get, you know, rookie minicamp, OTAs, all that stuff. Uh, we're trying to get to 31,000. Help us get there. Turn on those notifications. Some reasons why you should subscribe, uh, because we have fun, we keep it loose, and we keep you guys entertained and informed. Big D, should we release Corey Coleman with the addition of Sky Moore and Justin Ross? Coleman's got an uphill battle to try and make this team. I'd be surprised. Maybe he's a practice squad candidate, but, you know, for now you don't really have to cut him. It's a 90-man roster, but I don't expect him to be here long term. Jimmy Lamb, do you think the Chiefs will sign other wide receivers? Uh, possibly. You look at what the Chiefs currently have. Um, we've talked about Jarvis Landry. I think OBJ is a wild card. If he doesn't sign before the season starts because he's not healthy, could he sign mid-season, kind of wait and see for a contender uh, to potentially poach him? I think that's a possibility. Uh, but uh, for the most part, uh, you know, they might be done. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. All right, uh, appreciate you guys for loading up your questions today. If you didn't get them on the show, you can DM me on Instagram at HGramNFL, at HGramNFL. We can answer your questions over there. And on Twitter, same handle, different platform, at HGramNFL. Talking about the NFL, talking about the Chiefs. Have a lot of fun with all of you. So appreciate you guys. Give me a follow on social media, and uh, we can uh, talk some Chiefs football. 